The web control policy is focused on providing the administrator with control over web browsing. This policy complements the web protection that can be found under threat protection that we looked at earlier. The policy is broken up into a number of different sections and for each section you can choose to specify how everything is dealt with. For example, you can either manually specify or you can use the pre-configured Sophos recommended settings. In this example, I've decided to block the downloading of executable files. The acceptable web usage section controls how websites with different categories are handled. For example, you can see here that websites categorised as gambling will warn the user before they can access it. I will now simulate visiting a website categorised as gambling. There are also some data loss related options to control whether downloads are allowed altogether and whether webmail is allowed or blocked. The website tagging is a really useful feature that can allow you to change the default behaviour of web control for specific websites. When a tag is applied to a website, you can select an action to be applied, such as allow or block, as well as the category in which you want to override. In this example, websites categorised as sports are currently set to warn users before they can access them. However, I wanted to specifically block a particular website so I have tagged ESPN so I can override the sports category and block this. As you can see, any other sports websites will continue to follow the policy and will warn users about accessing the site.